Hi, I'm Joan Miners. I'm here with Kyle Hurley from the University of Central Arkansas. He's going to tell us a bit about his very popular poster on sexual cannibalism in Carolina mantids. Okay, all right, so the, the title, Do Headless Males Really Make Better Lovers? I mean, it can't get any better than that. So you've got this voracious predator that's consuming its sexual mate, creating this sexual conflict. It's a really cool situation. I did this project in my undergrad. I, did, I spent two years on it, collected egg cases, reared them all the way through up to adulthood, and then put them in mating chambers and watched them mate. It was an amazing project. I got a whole bunch of questions out of it, which was kind of interesting. And unfortunately, I didn't get the answer to do whether or not headless males actually make better lovers. But I got all sorts of cool stuff. So, in one out of 45 cases, I actually found that the male actually removed the head of, uh, or the male actually consumed the female. So that was a really weird situation where the, the male was consuming the female and then it went on her abdomen and pulled out the eggs. It was really weird. So this was something that was, these lab, these mantids were raised in the lab. So it was, it might be a lab artifact or it might be something that's kind of weird going on with their behavior. I've never seen it in the field, but it's really neat with the mantids. Uh, we found spermatophore feeding in the female mantids. That was really crazy. We got some data on that females were selectively cannibalizing smaller males. That was the really cool thing. And then in one out of 45 cases, we had the female actually remove the head off the male, and then he mated with her. And then they, she laid egg casing. So that was, it was a really cool project, and we got all sorts of data out of it that was just really neat. That does sound pretty awesome. No, it's really cool. You can't beat it. It, it was really cool. Really it's really cool. interesting. So with such a crazy system, I bet you have some good stories about crazy situations in the field or the lab. Yeah, so I mean, in the, in the field, a crazy situation in the field. So a lot of people find um, that they think that this is just an artifact of lab rearing mantids. And I've, I've found a, a male mantid without his head mounted on a female out in the field and she's just standing there on a stick. He doesn't have a head and they're just sitting there mating. So I've seen that and it was, it was really crazy. And of course in the lab, the craziest situation we have, this was really nuts with this, with this uh, male cannibalizing a female. In one case, I told you about the egg removing case. In another case, the male got on there and started cannibalizing the female. And then she turned around and started cannibalizing him. So in that mating pair, they both died. So nobody benefited out of that. So this was a really weird situation that we, we just haven't figured out how we're going to explain it yet, but it's a cool system. Yeah. Sounds pretty complex. A lot more still to work on. Oh, lots, lots of questions. Lots of questions. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Absolutely. Good luck. Yeah.